Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of CS Mentor and today we are going to talk about how you can maximize your chances of getting a research of teaching assistantship for your graduate studies. And before we start, let me remind you that here we are focus up, focusing about students in computer science or computer engineering that are uh, planning to study in the United States. So first, let's look at what are the possible funding options. So there are different opportunities. The first one is research assistant. So these are positions which are funded by research grants that faculty have obtained from funding agencies. The second uh, opportunity is a teaching assistant in which the students are required to teach for the university and in exchange for that, their studies are funded by the department. There is a third alternative, which are fellowships, which are generally more rare and less common. And sometimes these fellowships come with certain requirements. So for example, you may need to be a US citizen or maybe a person from a minority, etc. In general, all these opportunities uh, provide tuition, a stipend, which is paid bi-weekly generally, health insurance, sometimes other fees, and I also want to mention that regardless of how you are funded, RA, TA, or through fellowship, the expectations for your PhD are still the same. I want to also highlight that the admission decision is not the same as the funding decision. So when you apply to a graduate school, your application gets reviewed and you may be admitted to the program. But this doesn't mean that you are going to be funded, even if you submitted a specific request uh, for being funded. The fact that you are admitted doesn't imply that you are funded. In order to be funded, you need to actually receive an offer from the university with a sign that says the amount, the start date, the expectations, etc., etc., etc. Now I want to focus a little bit on what. Uh, us as reviewers of applications of graduate students are looking for. So the first thing, and I think it's the most important, is to have a strong background in core classes. So let's say you're an applica applicant in computer science, we look at algorithms, programming classes, potentially operating system, databases, so core computer science classes, and in general, core classes in your discipline. We also, of course, look at high GPA, so you need to have high grades and show that you're actually a good student. We also look for high language scores, and these are especially important for teaching assistants because those uh, students are going to teach in class. So we want to make sure that they're actually able to speak well. And sometimes also um, director of graduate studies like myself are going to interview you on Zoom in order to make sure that you're actually able to speak properly. Then we look at recommendation letters in order to see what your previous professor and recommendees in general, uh, what they say about you. And then we look at the research statement, which is also a very important part because it tells us not just what are your research ideas and interests, but it also tells us how you are able to write, which is one of the most difficult skills to learn throughout your PhD. And so if you already have good writing skills, we are going to be impressed and happy and we'll consider your application more positively. And finally, we're also going to look at research experience. So if you have some research experience, that would be good. This is not necessarily expected by new PhD students since you are just starting your uh, research career. But if you have some, of course, it would be good. Now I would like to focus on some suggestions in order to maximize the chances of success. So the first one is that know your program. Go on the web page and see how the program works, what are the classes that are taught, uh, who are the professors, how the program is structured, etc. Then at some point you will decide to write someone in the program. So decide who you're going to write in order to ask the right thing. So if you want to look for a research assistant position, then you should contact individual professors which may have research grants and they are looking for uh, research assistantship. Uh, assistance. Or you may look at contact for director of graduate studies, people like me that are actually looking to hire teaching assistants. Uh, and so send those type of requests to uh, the person that is actually going to hire for that type of position. Also make sure that you write well because poor grammar, badly written emails, are definitely not going to get you funding for the same reasons I mentioned before. Also, do not write super long emails. So nobody has the time and willingness to read two or three pages of email. Try to summarize in few 
sentences, the points that we mentioned in the previous slide. Another important point is apply early. Do not apply close to the deadline. So usually these uh, uh, funded positions are kind of first come, first serve. So when we get a good applicant, which has a good background, it meets uh, or they meet all the uh, requirements that we expect, then we just make an offer. And if the students accept, then the students is hired and that position is not available anymore. So the sooner you apply, the higher are the chances that you can get funded. Also, some uh, programs still require test scores such as GRE, TOEFL, etc. So if you have good test scores, of course, we are going to consider that positively. And even if it's not required, but you do have good uh, scores, then submit them anyway, because it's definitely part of making application stronger. And if you can start doing some uh, research as an undergraduate, because that is also a positive component of uh, getting research funding. I want to finish this video with some hard truth about getting research funding in order to give you a little bit of the reality of the situation. So the first one is that funding are limited. There are very limited TA positions most, in most universities and of course limited research assistant positions because these are tied to the grants that the faculty get and of course getting a grant is difficult and it's one of the hardest parts of our job. Also, only strong applicants are going to get funded. So look at the list of what we are looking for that I mentioned before and ask yourself, do I meet these requirements? If you don't, it's very unlikely that you're going to get funded. Also, it is true that most PhD students in the US are funded, especially in computer science and computer engineering, are funded. However, this doesn't mean that everyone that we apply into the, uh, we admit into the program is funded. But who ends up coming here is generally funded. It is also true that most master's students are not funded. It may happen in some circumstances that there is a teaching need or a special fellowship and some master's students get it, but most of the time master's students are not funded. And finally, make sure to be proactive so that you contact the right people with the right information early in the process so that you maximize your chances of being uh, funded. Do not just apply and wait because at that time it may be too late to actually uh, compete for those positions. I hope that this video was useful and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.